18 million dollars grind run in one day completely solo that's insane hey everyone and welcome back this week is good compared to all the previous weeks that were lame and boring with not much to do until last week for the new Geralt missions. This week is good for those that are into the CEO crates business and also benefits hugely to those that follow my ways and methods from my money making guides. There's double money going on the CEO crates business also known as the special cargo which happens to be the highest paying single business in the game at 2.2 million dollars during normal times from just a single large warehouse. But during double money times like this, it pays almost 4.5 million dollars guys. Just one large warehouse dishes out so much money. Imagine if you have more. I myself have 4 large warehouses. So that's 17.8 million dollars in one day easily. That too all of this was done completely solo guys. Be it the sourcing or the selling, no help from anyone. Did everything completely solo. Also followed my personal grinding methods which saved a lot of money. We'll get further on this in a short while. Now before I talk about the grind part, I just want to say I won't be going completely in depth in this video about all the details with each and every info. Cause I've already done a video titled how to make millions with crates showing all the details of the business with the helpful and the useful infos regarding it. Plus, I've also included all of the tips, tricks, shortcuts and easy methods that makes the grinding of the business easier and more efficient saving a lot of time for you all. Links will be provided like always and make sure to check out that video without fail. And while you're at it, do drop the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It sure does help the channel grow. And just letting you all know, the reason I keep stressing you all to do this business is because of the immense potential and the huge returns this business offers. If you still aren't convinced, then watch through the whole video to see the money returns. Hopefully that changes your mind. Now going about with the grind. I've actually done such similar grind runs earlier like the 16 plus million dollars in one day and the 10 plus million dollars in one day videos. But they combined the income from other businesses and wasn't just one. The previous one, the 17 plus million dollars in one day video consisted solely this business and this grind run is just a better version of that. Won't be combining any other businesses with these, no bunker, no MC or nightclub incomes. And with that being said, let's begin with the grind run. So the warehouses. I usually have all my warehouses filled to 90% so when such double money week comes up, I can just fill up the rest and sell. But this time it was different and also the warehouses were kind of changed from the last time. I earlier had 3 large warehouses, 1 medium and 1 small warehouse. The small warehouse is just for storing the rare special items we get from time to time. This time I had 4 large warehouses and 1 small warehouse, had traded off the medium for another large warehouse. So this week one of my large warehouse was at 90%. The other one was at roughly 80% and the other two nearby warehouses were at 70 to 75% roughly. The small warehouse had three rare special items and the rest were normal crates. So during this grind run I had the task of filling up the rest of the warehouses. And the reason I fill up till 80 to 95% and store is because it makes it easier during these double money weeks to fill up the rest and sell them. This way it won't feel like a burden or too much of a grind at all. Also, I did not fill up completely or go above that limit as we will get raided which is an unnecessary hassle I do not want to deal with. If you face a lot of raids in your businesses, then make sure to check out the video I have made to stop raids and be completely peaceful. It's titled as How to Never Get Raided in Your Businesses. And also it's following video How to Defend Raids and Return the Stolen Products Back to Your Businesses in Case of a Raid. All the links are provided below. So as I was saying, the warehouses were filled to such figures and I wanted to make a certain change this time. I wanted to sell off the small warehouse and instead get a medium warehouse for its place. You know, that way I could store normal crates as well along with the rare special crates. That way I could make more money. Small warehouses are kind of, you know, pointless. And also you can see from the map the large warehouse near the LSIA was completely filled. The other two at La Mesa had each other to alternate whilst grinding but the one at the top was alone for this grind meaning a lot of time would be wasted during the cooldown times. 
So having the medium warehouse, I could alternate between these two having the terabyte position between those two places. This is a smart, efficient way of grinding to save time and be more productive at the same time. So in order to get the medium warehouse, I first had to sell the crates in the small warehouse. I had 3 special items and 12 normal crates. Can't sell them together, so individual sales. Also note that there's 30 minute cooldown timer before you sell again from the same warehouse. Then I started the sale of 3 rare special items, as you can see their value, just 3 crates and are worth $670,000, roughly $223,000 each. Pretty cool right? So I started it and got the Cuban sale mission. Pretty easy and I have sold 3 planes as well in the earlier days completely solo. You guys might also remember this from the sale mission in which uh, my friend crashed one of the planes in the 17 million dollars in one day video. Crazy time you can say. It's actually very easy. Check out the location on the map, look at the spot and remember to land the plane before the spot cause there will be enemies present at that location and they will kill you in an instant. So land prior to the location. Take out the enemies and deliver the plane or planes depending on the size of sale. And don't worry even if you die during this time as you'll respawn and can continue. But just try not to die in the first place. So that's how the sale mission is. I cleared the enemies and delivered the plane to the location and made an easy $670,000 from 3 special items. And as I had to travel back to the city for the remaining grind, I remembered there's 3 vacant spots in the small warehouse from which we just sold from thought of filling it up as I was headed that way. That way when selling I'll have an almost filled warehouse. So did a quick 3 crate supply run on the way back, easy single vehicle delivery. Now there was 15 crates total to sell with a worth of $450,000. Then after grinding for 25 minutes it was time to sell the small warehouse crates so we could move on. A total of 15 crates, $450,000, easy brigade mission with single drops, it was a breeze selling it. Absolutely love the brickets. That thing is packed with power and is literally unstoppable. Slams through all the cars like it's nothing. Like that, the sale was complete. Time to get the medium warehouse. Although there were other options, I chose to go with the one that I already had earlier as it had the advantage of access to all of the major roads nearby. For that reason alone, I got the Del Perro medium warehouse. Like I said earlier, I could alternate between the Del Perro and the West Vinewood large warehouse, thus avoiding the cooldown timer. After that, whilst grinding the crates, I got 2 rare special items again. These are easy money guys. As you can see, one of them is worth $300,000. Pretty cool if you ask me. So after some time, the grind runs were complete and all of my warehouses were completely filled. Time to sell and make some big cash. First, I went to the medium warehouse to sell the rare special items, cause you know, the cooldown timer of 30 minutes. So 2 crates, $530,000, easy brigades, single drop sale mission again. You ready to Super easy mission, finished it under 2 minutes. Next heading out to a large warehouse, 111 crates, $4.5 million, and I got the titan sale. All right. First thing that bugged me was that the sun was setting and it was getting dark. In that, I got the titan sale mission. I mean, just 4 days back I did a whole video talking about this, the titan sale glitch thing. But still went ahead as you know sometimes it goes smooth without the glitch ruining it. And as I had hoped, the sale went smooth with no glitch or bugs ruining the sale and made 4.44 million dollars easily. The thing now was that I was at the top of the map and the next warehouse to sell was at the bottom of the map, near the LSIA. A good tip is to call up your assistant and request a luxury helicopter. What this allows you to do is to fast travel from anywhere on your the map to your office, you vehicle warehouse or any of your cargo warehouses. From the pause then? menu you can also choose any right, random then. locations and, and travel AFK. So now I was at the Zero Gas Factory Large Warehouse that is next to the LSIA. 111 crates, 4.5 million dollars, started the sale and got the easy brickades multiple drops mission. Nothing to worry, this too is very easy, completed the sale in under 15 minutes easily and got 4.44 million dollars. I want you all to notice the money there. 
I'll get to it in a minute. Next, it was two final large warehouses. Started the La Mesa warehouse sale and got the 5 drop titan sale. Have been doing this from the beginning and never encountered a bug or glitch in this 5 drop titan sale. And as usual, completed the hey, drops, called Lester, sale completed and I got paid. Right, Next, headed curious. to the final large warehouse. 111 crates, 4.5 million dollars and the easy single drop brigade mission sale. Loaded, Completed Ready? the sale without any hassle. Easy 4.44 million dollars. Finally, it was the medium warehouse. And I remember there was three vacant spots from the special item sale. So started the resupply mission quick, got a single delivery vehicle, easy and delivered it. Time to sell a fully filled medium warehouse for 1.47 million dollars. Got the tugboat mission and made the sale, easy money. Now, as I stood there recording the final sequence for my video, I realized one thing. Look at the total money I had made after all the sales. I mean, I started at $334.5 million. So, 20 million should be well over 350 mil. Kinda became furious at that moment and headed out to my master control terminal to find out that the zero gas factory somehow had full warehouse of crates. I had lost about 3 crates, I don't know why or how. Guys, this is the same warehouse from which we did the multiple drop brigade missions which I completed earlier. I have no idea what happened or, or if it had glitched out somehow or it might have glitched with the fast travel thing. I was not sure at all. But glad that I went back and you know checked it. So then I did the 3 crate supply run to fill it up completely and it was time to sell again. Got the single drop brigade mission once again, go, made the drops, took out the enemies, got paid and easy 4.44 million dollars right there. And for the total, I had crossed 350 million dollars mark for the second time. And finally, the grind run came to an end with it. That's a total of 4 large warehouses, 1 medium and 1 small warehouses. At the end of the run, I had reached 354 million. And I started off at 334 million. Came across few unforeseen expenses along the journey and finally it was done. So, 4 large warehouses with each paying out 4.44 million dollars each is a total of 17 million 760 thousand dollars. A fully filled medium warehouse pays 1 million 470 thousand dollars. A small warehouse minus 1 crate that is 15 crates sells for 450 thousand dollars. Total amount with the normal crates itself is 19.7 million dollars. And to top it off, the 5 special items sums up to a whopping 1.2 million dollars from just 5 crates. Hence you should not ignore these rare special items guys. Added all up is a total of 20.9 million dollars, almost 21 million dollars in one day and that to completely solo. That's an insane amount of money. Also, this is just the cargo business. The other passive businesses like the bunker, nightclub and the MC businesses aren't included in this. Also, I won't include the expenses here cause I use my way of branding and that method actually neutralizes the expenses. I've talked about these methods along with the methods to not make the cargo business not feel too much of a grind while still filling it up. So if you haven't seen it yet then make sure you watch the video. It's titled as My 0 to 300 plus million money making guide. Links at the top, in the description, as well as at the end of the video. Alright everyone, that's it for this video. If you all liked it, do drop the video a like and also subscribe to the channel for more such awesome videos to come. Thank you all and have a good day.